I, so this is some explanation on test based on uh, visual matrix, like uh, the Raven test. And uh, we will go from simple to quite complex, but not the most difficult items. But that's already enough to get started with uh, those tests. So now uh, we have these simple items, and we see that we have some circles, and then we have a hole that is punched. And then you have four circles. What is on the left is the question, and on the right, these are the propositions. And that's what you have to use to fill in the blank. It's uh, like the SAT or stuff like that. So there, uh, the answer is quite obvious, but that's the first item. We just have to find the matching circle, and that's obviously this bottom right. It has the same feeling. This one uh, becomes already a bit more challenging, but most people already saw such items. Uh, there we have different fillings. We have the, this diagonal grating, then we have this diamond uh, yeah, filling, I would say, and that uh, lightweight filling. And in the proposition, we have four fillings, and this one seems the odd one because it's never shown in, in what is available. So that one seems uh, odd. So we, we could already eliminate it, but okay. So now this often works by looking at row and columns. So there are uh, rules that will uh, apply to rows and columns. So if we look at rows, we see that we have three different greetings and uh, fillings, sorry, on the first row. Same for the second row, and yeah, it should apply to the third. And if we look at columns, we have the same kind of stuff happening there. We have different fillings, different fillings. So yeah, that should be different fillings there. And if we look now at these two fillings, and we know that this one does not participate, the only one that is missing is the diagonal one. And uh, it happens that if we put the diagonals one here, that would complete this diagonal. And if you look, this diagonal has the same feeling, but this diagonal that wrap around and goes there has the same feeling, and this diagonal that wrap around and goes there has the same feeling. So if you copy paste this and put it there, these two would be in this diagonal. Just take those and put, it, put them there. So yeah, that's one strategy, but uh, sometimes it gives bad results. So it's very dangerous to rely on diagonals. And if you look at the other diagonal, then you have the three different spelling, and that would be the same for that diagonal and for that diagonal. So yeah, we end up knowing that the correct one is that one. Okay, uh, more feelings, and I will just draw over to make it clearer. Uh, so this one is going diagonally, like this, this one like this, this one like this. This is vertical, diagonal, horizontal, diagonal, horizontal, and uh, we don't know that one. That's the question. And in the proposition, we have this. So now we have to look at rows, and if we look at the first row, it seems that this red stuff rotates clockwise. And if we look at the second row, it seems to do the same. It's uh, like uh, eight of a turn. And uh, the last row, the two first, yeah, it's rotated from eight of a turn. If we look at the columns, uh, we see that the same rotation happens. So it's also eight of a turn. And that means that this one is one eighth of a turn from that one and one eighth of a turn from that one clockwise. So that means that it goes like this. And you see now that it causes this complete uh, nicely the pattern. And that means that the answer is that one. Okay, so no more uh, greeting. Uh, there we have some circles that move around. Uh, and uh, yeah, we have to discover how. So we'll still use the row and column strategy there. 
and we see that yeah it simply goes clockwise simply goes clockwise so this has to go clockwise and uh yeah you see that the filling of that uh, dot is changing but if you look at the propositions you see the same feeling so the feeling may not help us there if you look at the column we see that it does a counterclockwise rotation that time so that means that if we look at this it should be at the top like this and if we look at this it goes counterclockwise and it should also be uh, ah, it, it turned clockwise and it should also be at the top so both give that and that is the solution yeah this one is uh, again something we saw before but made a bit more complex let's look at rows and is there something we can see that is the same in the row yeah you can and that's the eight and if we look at the second row and so by extrapolation we know that we need something like that and if we look at columns and i will change the color for that we can do the same exercise Yeah, moving uh, horizontally with the mouse is easier, thanks to FPS. So if we go vertically, we see that uh, the width stay the same. And so there, we have to have our uh, ellipse, or, yeah, that would be like this. And yeah, so that means it would be wider than it is taller. And it is proposition, yeah, th these are just uh, distractions. Uh, yeah. So this one is taller than it that in than with than uh, it is width. Uh, yeah, uh, broader, large that is taller than large, and this one is larger than tall. So that's the one we are looking for. So just by analyzing the graphics, you can come up to the solution by looking at row and columns. We only did that for now. Okay, so this one is uh, something a bit more complex than row and columns. And uh, this is inted. So see, in items, you have int that explain you how to read the items because yeah you don't know if you have to work with raw work or not so the items will tell you okay this is something you have to parse differently and how it does that is by giving you some continuity or some you know, visuals and there uh, we have what we call continuity that goes from the first one to the last one if you look at there it does yeah one yeah like you know that there is some kind of turn down there, so one, two, three, so it's like a third of a quarter turn, so it does one twelve of a turn. This one will also do one twelve, and uh, yeah, if that one did one twelve, you would get something like that. And it happens that this is there. So yeah, so that that's the link that is made from that one to that one, and that one to that one do a twelve, uh, and that one to that one do a twelve, and uh, we expect to have something like this. And you see that yeah, it's that one, and so that's how you know that there is continuity and there is something that may happen from start to end and not only by row and columns and the other way to see that is that if you try to parse by uh, let's say rows uh, yeah this one is staying there and then moving this one is moving up so the dark one makes sense the, the diamond one is 
so so and if we look there poof no dark one not dark one dark one makes no sense uh, if we look there dark one no dark one and the sun doesn't make sense and if we look vertically yeah it's a uh, top middle middle top top middle middle top and uh, top we um, that's not really helpful so instead we will use the, the the int that is given there and the int says yeah just pass this as a second and just go from there to there to there so we just go from there to there to there to there to there to there, to there, to there, to there. so i will just uh, label some stuff to help us uh, and to help with the explanation so there i will call this aside not the filling really the that circle i will call it a and uh, we see that we saw that the the three circles are rotating so this is still a this is still a even if the filling has changed this is still a and you see the rotation now a a a a and there uh, we know that we would have uh, like th this one and the a is there at that point it may be obvious to you what is happening but uh, i have to do the full explanation for everyone so this middle one i will call it b and uh, yeah i will put a b everywhere so it's clear let them be and uh, oh, we we'll finish and the last one yeah it's c So now, now we know uh, each, each uh, circle by its label. Okay, let's see uh, what is uh, easier to work with. Then we see that the diamond filling is everywhere. So what I will do is write the diamond filling uh, letter. So it gives the sequence A, A, B, B. That's uh, Konami. C, B, B, B. And if you look at that, it's two times A, two times B, two times C, two times B, and uh, it looks like uh, some symmetry is going there. And we would be tempted to complete that with A, A. And you see it goes well, it's symmetrical. That's nice. So let's say it will be there, it will be a, a A. But that's just an assumption for now. Now, if it looks at the dark one, the dark one does C, uh, B, A. We don't know, but that could be B. It could be behind the 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 diamond one, but we don't know. Then it would be. It's not A or B, so it could be C but we don't really know. Then, then it's B, and then it's A. Then, yeah, we don't know, but it could be B. And then, uh, yeah, there we need something. That's what you are looking for. And, uh, yeah, so now what we can see is C, B, A, B, C, B, A, B, and we see that every two things, there is a B. So yeah, that one probably a B. And then we see C, A, C, A, and that one would be a C. And if we complete like that, it done C, B, A, B, C, B, A, B, C, that's it. So it's B, A, B, C, B, A, B, C, B, A, B, C, etc. So by filling in that way, that looks very promising to be C and a so if we look we have indeed uh, that one that has c and a so that that's one of the solution so that has to be correct uh, 
Okay, so now that one is uh, a bit different, and again there is the greeting stuff. So I will just highlight uh, the diagonals for either uh, viewing. And uh, by doing so, we can already see that by a row, it does rotate clockwise. Uh, so that, that is something we can see. Just go clockwise. And by column, counterclockwise. So it looks like the answer would be this. Okay. I will do the next one uh, with another color. So this one goes like this, like this. Like this, like this, like this, like this, yeah, like this, like this, and uh, yeah, that one is like it, it goes counterclockwise, then there's a quarter turn, then it goes uh, counterclockwise, and then there's uh, something, but it's not the same, and then it does a quarter turn, and so it makes no sense in that way. But if I did draw this there, a vertical like this, then we have this, and then we have this, then we have this, then we have this, then we have this, and then we have this, and then we have this, and we need to find that one. And now we can see the things I discussed before with the diagonal, and uh, so we can see the vertical, vertical, and we expect the vertical there. And uh, if we look at rows, indeed we have vertical, diagonal, anti-diagonal, vertical, diagonal, anti-diagonal, diagonal, anti-diagonal, anti and you are missing the vertical. And in the other way, we have our two anti-diagonals per column and the uh, vertical, so there is also missing the vertical. So it looks like this means we have to find one with the vertical there, and that's the case for these two. And we have to find uh, the, the pop, 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 anti-diagonal. So not that one, but that one. And so that one is the answer. Yeah, not uh, necessarily easy, but uh, yeah, that's not normal. Uh, they, they are progressive, so they become harder. And we have the exception. So that one. It's just uh, what is there, and uh, yeah, we have this four shies, and it's uh, very visual. We just have to look at the filling, and we see that only that filling match. That kind of item can uh, be very difficult too, but this one is uh, very easy. Okay, so now we have uh, again some uh, logic that goes probably by row and column because there is no link that, uh, that are done uh, between uh, so between this and this, no apparent link, and between this one and this one, neither, neither between this one and this one. So that's again uh, a row and column stuff. So now we are looking at some rules, and uh, what is the same in that, in that row? Nothing, okay. And uh, if we look at the column, nothing is the same. So that's not something with some stuff uh, that are the same. So when that happens, we have to look at, is there something we can do to obtain the last column? And uh, yeah, that's uh, something. So we look at uh, tuk tuk. Yeah, what can we see? Let's say that, okay, I have two diagonal on the right and then one diagonal on the left. Then I have two diagonal on the left and one diagonal on the right. So the rule would be one of, only one of those has to be a diagonal uh, the other way around. But then if I look at that, it doesn't work because I have two diagonals and that is blank. There we have two diagonal and that is blank. And so we see that yeah, when there is a two blank, 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 uh, at least one blank, 
there is only one diagonal. But there we have three blanks, so yeah, that's quite complicated. So what we can do then is look if something repeats uh, in the in, in if the same situation repeats. And to do that, we take for example this two one, and we see that these two diagonals gives a diagonal in the other way. And these two diagonals that are the same give a diagonal in the other way. And you see that I said the same stuff. So that seems to be a rule that we just cooked. So the rule would be for the two first, we look at their diagonals. If they are the same, then the output is the, the, the other way around. And it works uh, there too. And if I look vertically, this one and this one, they are right leaning. So they give a left leaning. And that seems to work. And this one is left leaning. Yeah, and the output is a right leaning. So the, the rule is working for everything we can see there. And now we have, if we have a blank and a diagonal, it yields the same diagonal. And so I just took that and said that. And if I look this one, yeah, it's, it's right, empty, right. And uh, there we have empty, left, left. So that looks, it works. And if we look at the, what we have, that something else like that? No, that's the, the two examples we have. Yeah, empty, left, left. Left, empty, left. So that means that can be on both sides and empty, left, left. And right, empty, right. Yeah. So, so that shows that it works, that something empty gives something and something and reverse something give nothing. And we see that there and it's empty. And we see that there, right, left, and it's empty. That right, left, and it's empty. So now we have a set of rules that says, and I will mark them down, that this plus this equal nada. This plus this give us this. And this plus this give us uh, this. These are the rules that you have to apply. So now let's see. Ah, and uh, nada plus nada equal nada. So now we can see that this and this give this one or this one. And uh, we have left empty and it should give left. So that's this one. And that one is the, is the answer. And we can check empty and right give right and left left give right. And that we, we got everything from it. So it works. And if we check with the uh, columns because the rules apply both way, we see right and right give uh, uh, left and left give right, left and right give nothing, nothing and left give left, and right and nothing give right. So everything point to that one. So that is definitely the solution. Okay, so this is uh, probably the hardest one. Uh, so I'll let you 10 seconds to figure it out. Yeah, actually that was 20 seconds and uh, yeah, I think you didn't found it, which is quite normal because yeah, that one is not working like the one we saw previously. It's a new mechanism and uh, yeah, there is no real int to help you, but what you can see is that there is no relation in row and columns. So row and columns are not related and uh, yeah, that gives a big clue in fact, because if rows and columns are not related, then there is a relation that applies to the whole thing. And so it's very abstract. And what we can try then is, okay, if the relation is not a row, cross and column, 
maybe it's about the feelings. So there, if we take into consideration only the darkest one, and we take only that one into consideration, maybe there is something happening with it. And uh, then we may be able to check that it is true for uh, every other feelings. Uh, because yeah, if we try to do the arithmetic stuff where we say dark plus uh, blank equal diagonal right, then uh, yeah, maybe we have this repeat, yes, we have dark plus, yeah, we don't have it that repeat, so we can't even confirm it. Uh, yeah, and before we were able to confirm that kind of stuff. So that's probably not working like that either. But if we look only at the darkest one, we can see that it takes each position only once. And if you look, uh, yeah, let's let's look. Does it take the top left? Yes, that's the first cell. The, the top middle? Yes, that's the cell at the second row, the third column. And then on the top right, if you go one cell uh, left and bottom, so this this one. And then we are looking, does it take the middle left? Yes. Does it take the center? Yes. Does it take the middle right? Yes. Does it take the bottom left? No, but we have this solution that does, this proposition. Does it take the bottom middle? Yes. And the bottom right? Yes. So if that was the rule, we would say that the first proposition is the solution. So now uh, let's check uh, with the uh, right greeting. Okay, so does it take the top left? Yes, 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 no. Yes, there, the right greeting is taking the top left. Does it take the top middle? Yes. Does it take the top right? Nothing to see there, but in the proposition we selected, it does. Okay, uh, does it take the middle uh, left? Yes, it does. Does it take the middle center? Yes, it does. The middle right? Yes, it does. The bottom left? Yes, it does. The middle bottom? Yes, it does. And the bottom right? Yes, it does. So it's, it works also for that one. And uh, if we look at this pattern, we we'll see that these two work the same way. And that means that this is the solution. So that, that one is not easy to figure out, but the rule is, is very easy. Okay, so now uh, we don't have any more uh, different feelings. We have only one feeling. So that's not related to the feeling, obviously. So now, yeah, it probably worked by row or columns. So what we can do is this one is filled, this one is filled, this one is blank. So if we superpose, it looks like that's the rule. This one is uh, filled, empty, filled. Empty, filled, filled. So that looks like what we already saw. And uh, two empty give a filled. So that, that works nicely. Yeah? Two empty gives a field, and uh, yes, and uh, works pretty well. And if we look uh, the other way around, so we are looking for two empty, uh, empty, 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 and this one is empty. So the rule is broken. So that's not that rule. So it has to be something else. Uh, so that's not that simple. So we see two, two, two. 2, 2, uh, and 1, 1, 1. 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1. There is some kind of pattern there, and 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1. So we expect 1, I guess. And if we look vertically, 1, 2, 1. 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2. 2, 2, uh, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1. 2, 2, and there I can't say because there, there was, that was worked by column. And 2, 2, maybe 1, and 1, 1, maybe 2, or 1. So that's not uh, working very well for us. 
So yeah, that can be seen into that. And that's where we have to be very creative. And this item is also, uh, yeah, it's about creativity. So we don't work with arithmetic, obviously, obviously. So we need to get from there to there and from there to there. Or maybe from there to there and from there to there. And keep the same rule. And uh, if you look at this, how could I go from there to there, for example? Uh, uh, uh. So, okay. So, if we look at this, this column is there. So, we have this. I will draw. This column goes there. This column, up, it, it doesn't annoy me, this column is like this column. And this column is like this column. So basically, this part, this part there, is there. Okay, so I will just erase the arrow, okay. So we saw this part there, you copy paste that and you put it there. And then that part is the same. And now, so what, what we did is we took that part and we shift it right. So now I take that part and I shift it right. So it should be there. And in, indeed we have our L here, we have our L here, and then the two blank and then the two blank. So that's really the same part. And there we had uh, our small diagonal like this, and there, and then uh, we had this. So that looks like there is some shifting involved. Can we do the same there? So if I take this one and I put it there, yeah, it doesn't work. That's not the same. Okay. So now there is something else. What is happening there? So indeed, uh, that's a more complex one. So now we have another thing going on. It looks like if we take yeah, so that that line is the same as that line. That line and that line are the same, and that line and that line are the same. So basically, we did pick that, and we did put it just below. And so we expect to take that one and put it there. So that's the same step. And indeed, there we see the this stuff happening and there we see that stuff happening and for the other side we have this tree there and this two and we have this tree there and this two so that works also by shifting and now there is a pattern vertically so by, by column is that we did shift that then we did shift that and then we expect to shift that so that, that bracket I drew, I just did a quarter turn. So this would go there. And in the same way, this, uh, this part then would go there. And if we look at this, we see that indeed this stuff, that's a kanji, uh, this one goes there. So you see that it works and this line goes there. So now we take that too and we shift this so we would have this in field and this blank. And then, uh, then uh, maybe it's enough to find the right one. So this field and blank. So that, 
that's the one we are looking for. And now the solo column. So this field is blank. And then we have yeah, the two fields there. That would go there. And so that confirms that this is the solution. So this one is a bit harder, of course, because yeah, these are progressive. So that becomes harder and harder. And uh, this is the last item. So now, if you look at robot and columns, that makes no sense. So it's again a global item. And uh, if you look, you see, if you go look further away, you see it's like a drawing and there is some symmetry. So all you have to do to solve that one is seeing that and completing the drawing. So there you would draw lines like this to do a corner. Then you would have the diamond stuff. And uh, yeah, that's this one is the only one having this like this, like this, and like this. So yeah, this one is the easiest. But if you are tired and you did all the other stuff and, and then you are too focused on looking each cell individually and trying to draw relation like this, yeah, then you may miss uh, that kind of easy items. And they can be far in the test because yeah, you will have already worked very complex stuff. And then this kind of easy stuff where it's just a global picture you may be too focused on the details and not seeing the, the global one. And that's what makes it difficult when it's pushed as the last items. And also because you are tired. So, yeah. so that concludes uh, this uh, tutorial about uh, Robin Matrix. And th these were moderately complex items uh, near the end. But uh, yeah, that can be much, much, much more complex because you can combine the logic with so. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, maybe subscribe if you want to see stuff like that and don't hesitate to put comments to ask stuff and I will try to do something. Bye.